Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time, it's time to rise and shine. It's time to rise and shine and let the Lord, let the glory of the Lord shine in yourself, shine in you. Let the glory of the Lord shine in your hearts. Let the love of God shine in your heart. Let the love of God come out of you. Let the love of God come out in, in your hearts, in your minds, in your soul. The love of God to come out. Because when you show the love of God in your community, show the love of God in your community, God, the love of God will show off. The love of God will, will be there. When we love people, no matter where they are at, when we love a drug dealer. We love, we love, we love, a, we love all, all kinds of people in our lives. And we need to quit judging people in our lives. We need to quit judging, 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 judging. Because when we judge people, what's going to happen? We are going to be judged the same way. As we are being, as we are judging them. We need to quit judging people. Love on them. Where they are at. That's why a lot of people, some people, that's why some people do not want to step in a church. Do not want to be in a church. Do not want to be around Christian people. You know what? Christian, Christian when you call yourself a Christian, you give, sometimes I feel like that's a bad name. I like to call myself a disciple of Christ. When you call yourself a disciple of Christ, you do what God has called you to do. When God has called you to do, God has called all of us to do it. When we are part of the body of Christ, when we are part of the body of Christ, part, when we are a part of the body of Christ. God calls all of us, all of us to do his mission. And his mission is to, is to, is to you, is to reach people for Christ. Okay. I may not, I'm not doing all of this. I'm not doing all of this. Because cause God has called me to do it. I'm doing it because I want to do it. And because, because God, I'm doing it because I want to do it. I'm stepping out and I'm doing it because I want to do it. It's not because God has called me to do it. People think it's because God called me to do it. It's because I want to do it and I enjoy doing it. Because you know what? God sees what I'm doing. God sees what you guys are doing. And we need not to complain about things in our lives. We need not to complain about people in our lives. Oh, how this person does this and this. Oh, I see this person doing this. I see this person not worshiping how I like to worship. Or, or I see... This church doesn't worship how I worship. You know what? We need to stop judging. Judging those churches. We need to stop judging that person. We need to stop judging your friend. Stop judging. Start looking at yourself. Look at yourself. What you are doing. What you are doing is hurting yourself. And... So, I wanted to let everyone know, be a part of your community. Be a part of every, be a part of your community. Like when you are a part of your community and, and you are a part of meetings, you know what's going on, and you want to see change in your city, how are you going to see change in your city if you're not being a part of the city? a part of community meetings if you want change to come to your city. I want to see change come to my city. I want to see change come 
to Rapid City. I want to see change come to every city in the United States of America. I want to see it to come. But if we don't reach out, and if we just sit on our butts and pray and say, oh, God will change, God will change, we just pray and have God change it, have God change it. Oh, I'm going to pray, pray that God, um, pray, pray that God puts it on my heart to do this. You know what? I come to community meetings every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I'm a part of it. I don't have to be a part of it. I choose to be a part of it. God didn't put it on my heart to do it. God, I wanted to do it because I want to see change in our city. I want to see change in Rapid City. I want to see change in every city in this United States of America. If us Christians are just sitting back and just praying and praying, oh God, change our nation, change our president, change the, change this and change that. Oh God, change their hearts. Oh God, change their hearts. You know how they're going to, how God's going to change their hearts is if us disciples in the body of Christ steps out and do what God has called us to do. I'm tired of people saying, oh, I have to wait on God to, to lead me to this. We need to stop. We need to stop. If God is leading you, if God, if God is leading you, if God is telling, if God is, if you have to wait on God to do something, you're going to be waiting for a long time. Step out. Be bold. Step out in faith. And see what God can do. Because God can do. He can do it, guys. We need to step out and be a part of everything. And every part of the community. And ev in everything that we do in this life. Because, because when we do things in our lives... And when we step out and do things, God's going to see that we are doing what he's called us to do. People say, oh, I'm not called to do that. I'm not called to reach the community. I'm not called to go, go and preach the gospel. I'm not called to do this. I'm not called to do that. I'm not called to go to this Go, go and go in and evangelize to, you know, to, to, to talk to somebody about Jesus. If you are in the body of Christ and we are connected in the body of Christ, we are all called to evangel the, to evangelize and to speak to talk to people about Jesus. To talk to people about the love of Jesus. And it's the truth. It's the really the truth, guys. And if you're not, if you can't, if you say, I'm not called to serve. I'm not called to do this. Called to do that. In the body of Christ, if you are a leader, if you are a leader in the body of Christ, I'm praying a bunch of those leaders, a bunch of leaders in the body of Christ will step up, step up, and that God will change their hearts. The ones that are leaders the ones that think that they are not called to do this, do this, and do this, 
and do this ministry and do this ministry and do this. I'm not called to clean the church. I'm not called to do this, do this. You know what? I'm praying that God will change all of your hearts, will change all of our hearts, even my heart. Because there's sometimes, sometimes God, sometimes I come off and say, oh, God didn't call me to be evan evangel evangelist. God has called me to be evangelist. God has called all of us to be, be, be a part of everything in the body of Christ. Because when you are a part of the body of Christ, you better be expecting God to use you. God will use you. And I am praying that God will change every, everybody's hearts, will change. I'm not just speaking to, I'm speaking to myself. I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to everybody. The ones out there are saying, saying this and this and this. Okay. If I'm wrong in this. I'm going to start calling myself a disciple of Christ because I don't believe in saying I am a Christian anymore because Christians give Christians a bad name because there, there are people, there are people out there, non-believers, even people that step in the church and when they see what we are doing and they see something that's wrong and they see it and they don't, they don't confront us. You know what? They, they could, they, they are, they're probably saying in their minds, in their minds and in their spirits. Well, well, they call themselves a Christians. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? We need to be a witness to people. We need to tell people. We need to do what God has called us to do. And if you are in a church, in a church gathering, or in a church, any type of church you go to, a charismatic church, um, a Pentecostal church, and if you are part of a church, you are called into ministry, into doing what God has called us to do. God has called us to love one another. God has called, called us to love our neighbors. God has called us to love, to love this sex addiction, this person that's in sex addiction, in pornography. God has called us to love them, to to pray for them, to lift them up in the Lord, to lift them up and, and see what we can do to get them help. God called us to love this person. God has called us to love, love, love this person. It's in um, homosexuality. God has called us to love, love them. To it, to to accept these people. To accept them. In love. But we don't have to agree with our lifestyle. We can say, "I agree with your lifestyle," but God still loves you, my child. God still loves you, my child. God still loves me. No matter how many mistakes I make, God still loves me. He picks me up seven times, seven times, seven times, seven times. Every time, every time I fall, he picks me up. He picks me up. We need to quit judging other people where they are at because we were once there. We were once an alcoholic. We were once a, sick, a sex addiction. We had, we had that in our lives. We were once there. Okay? We were once where, where this person, this person used, 
hate his parents. I was there. I used to be there. I used to hate my parents. I used to hate my dad. Sorry. I used to hate my dad. I used to hate my real dad. My real dad is in California, is in California right now, okay? He doesn't hardly talk to me. He doesn't, he doesn't even hardly even talk to me. Him and I don't have a relationship. But Father God, Papa God, is my father, is my real father. So, we all need to, if we want to see change in our nation, if we want to see change in our cities, in our cities, start being a part of things. Start being a part how you can be the solution of solving this problem, how we can do this. And another thing, how we're going to do this is through the power of prayer. That's where things are going to change. It's through the power of prayer and worship and getting into his word. Getting into the word of God. That's where change is going to come. It's going to come when we get into the word of God and worship the mighty God. Worship the most holy God in this nation. <coughs> We need to get back to where God has called us to worship him, to get into the word of God, get into the word of God. There's so many people has left the word of God, left the word of God. Oh, um, left the word of God because people are depending more on Holy Spirit. What is Holy Spirit saying? Well, you need to get back to the word of God. Holy Spirit leads me back to the Word of God. What does the Word of God say? We need to stop. We need to start there. The power of prayer changes things in our cities, guys. The power of prayer, worship. And if we're not doing that, if we're not doing the power, if we're not praying, and getting on, our, getting on our knees every day and praying to God to change our nation, to change our cities, changes. Change will come when we start getting into the Word of God and getting deeply, deeply founded into the Word of God. Wrestle with God. That's what I learned Sunday night. Wrestle with God. God wants us to wrestle with him. Not in a bad way, in a good way. Wrestle with him, guys. Wrestle with the God, with the God Almighty. Wrestle with him. So I'm going to say, everyone, have a blessed day. Bless day and may the Lord direct your steps everywhere you go and may the Lord guide your words, what you say and may the Lord help you and guide your guide everywhere you go what you do for him. And don't do it for the glory of man. Don't do it to show man what you can do. And do it, do it for the glory of God. And to get a pat on the back from God. Not from people. From God himself. From Yahweh himself. From Jesus himself. From Holy Spirit. From all of them. Whoever you call Jesus, if you call Jesus Yahweh, call him Yahweh. 
Okay? So you all have a blessed day. Be blessed. I am blessed from the mighty man of God. I'm trying to encourage you guys. If you guys want to be a disciple, a true disciple of Christ, a true disciple of Christ, go out and be a part of your community. Be a part of the community. It's like it's like if you have if you have your church building, if you have a church building, bring the community there. Open your open your church building up for coffee donuts. If you want to change, if you want to get, cha if you want change to come in your city, uh, change to come to your city or to your community, get involved. Ask the police to be a part of the meetings. Ask to ask ask a lot of people to come come to your meetings. Donuts and coffee. Make yourself friendly. Be there for the people. We need to be there for the people. If we're not there for the people, then they're going to say, what are, what are these Christians? These Christians say that they love Jesus and they're not here for us. You know what? That's the truth. We need to be there for them and be, be there with arms wide open like Jesus did to us. Like Jesus, like Jesus did for us. He held his arms wide open for us. And the body of Christ needs to hold their arms wide open for, for the person that comes into the church. With arms open wide and welcoming them, welcoming them in to the family of God. And then teach them that they need to be a disciple of Christ. Teach them how to be a disciple of Christ. We need to be a disciple of Christ in our nation. And that's where change is going to come. Change will come when we start being disciples of Christ. God bless you all. Be blessed. I am blessed.